everybody, Inchworm here. Welcome to the Inchworm Show. Today is an exclusive. I got some celebrities here from one of the best radio Damn. shows oh. in the land. <laughs> I got Montrell, I got Pierce, and I got Devon here from the ISD. Attention. <laughs> from the ISD School of Attention radio show. How y'all doing, guys? Great. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to the wormhole. This is the wormhole. Oh, I like it a lot. Okay. Yeah. I, like, I, like, yeah. I feel it a lot. Yeah. 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 Wormhole <laughs> studio. Yeah. So um, I want you to tell everybody just a little bit about yourselves. I want them to know more about your podcast. I mean, your radio show. Okay. Um, <laughs> just, all right. Oh, well, I'm Pierce. Hey, Pierce. That's your name. Yeah, that's me. Uh, <laughs> no. I'm uh, one of three hosts on the radio show. ISD in school detention. Sorry, um, I missed that. Could you uh, say it again, please? Uh, no, we good, Siri. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Siri just went off. Uh, Siri, check us out. That's cool. Hey, no worries, no worries. We keep going. We keep going. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I'm Pierce. Um, part one of three of these guys over here. You know, uh, we just talk about a lot of stuff. You know, anything, anything, and everything, except for gossip, because we don't do that. Because you know, this is the stuff to talk about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Sure. Okay. Hater. <laughs> I'm not a hater. Yeah. I'm not a hater. <laughs> Should we just get right into it? Look, yeah, get into we it. We don't talk about gossip. You know I know that. that. We, we don't have to talk about gossip. We don't talk about We right. don't talk you know, about gossip. Y'all not going to introduce yourselves? Yeah. I'm Vontrell. Right. Hi, Vontrell. I hey. love your sweater, by the way. Thank you. Beyonce.com. Yes. <laughs> I'm a part of the Beehive, so yes. How are you just going to promote? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I Website. Anyway, I am the third co-host of uh, ISD. Mm -hmm. um, in my head, I am supermodel of the world. I'm not a model though, but you've seen this walk, you think otherwise. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so I work with him, and then I want to radio with him. I deal with this shit all the time. <laughs> no clue. Because he wants to. Life is about choices. That's <laughs> <laughs> real. For sure, for sure. Like, um, and who is you? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, okay. You don't know who you are. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm Devon. Um, oh, man. I started the show. It's been like over a year now. Year and change. Um, way back then. Creator of it. Uh, I select all our music, a majority of it. Um, create create all our content. Schedule majority of our interviews for ISD and School Detention. Um, it's definitely been a journey, but I'm happy to be here. Yeah. When I was on the radio show, I just felt comfortable. I got there a little late. My bad. Okay, I'm sorry. But when I got there, I had an amazing time. And you can tell that you all have been friends for a very long time. And it's like you all know each other. You bounce off of each other perfectly. Um, why did you decide to have... Was this your idea? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you decided to bring them along? Yeah, so <clears throat> essentially what happened was uh, March, April of last year, I failed out of paramedic school. That didn't really work out for me. So I was doing nothing in the meantime. And then uh, a guy I know named Roberto at the field house, like I was just talking about how I want to be on the radio. And he's like, I know a guy. So that all happened. And that was at the time when I was with 98.3. Um, mm -hmm. So from that point... I went on. And at first, I wasn't going to do it mm -hmm. because I was also a student and working a full-time job. But he talked me into it. Yes. And okay. It. Um, lifetime opportunity. I definitely don't regret it. You know what I'm saying? So I did that. And then I uh, started in August. And so from August, it was only 5 to 6 p.m. And I hosted it up until about, like, what, December? It was around New Year's before I brought you on. No, it was New Year when I brought you on. It was after yes. New Year's. It was after no, New it, Year. was, it was New Year. Was it New like Year? We went, from, we went into midnight. Yeah, yeah, we did that. We did like seven hour show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, we did that, and eventually I'm just like, you know, I need a co-host. Someone who's gonna give me good opinion, so I know I can trust. So yeah. I picked him. It was me. Yeah, <laughs> me, and him been, <laughs> me and him been friends for like 12, 13 years now. It's been a minute. It's yeah. definitely been a long ass time. Yeah. yeah. So we were friends since then, and I knew he was a natural choice. And then after that, we moved. Uh, actually, July of this year, we moved to uh, WLCB, which okay. is one on five, which ones is where we're at right now. And then from there, about a month ago, I've been friends with him for about a year and change now. A little bit less than a year. Sure. Um, and pretty much the same things from him. Just very open-minded, likes music, likes to have constructive conversations. So I'm like, you know what, why not? So I brought him on too. Me and him can be very like serious at times. We talk about serious topics on the show. So he kind of comes on as like a comedic filter too. But he also has really good opinions. He's very creative as well. Yeah. I'm not a comedian now, nor am I funny. You're very funny. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. You're definitely funny. So... Um, when I first met you, Devon, we were at, when I first met you, we were at the, it was the award ceremony for 
the Legacy Reentry Foundation. Mm -hmm. That's where I first saw you in yeah. person. And everybody, a lot of us were getting honored, millennials who were doing things in the community, entrepreneurs, all that good stuff. <coughs> so that's when I first met you there. Why is it important for uh, millennials and people who are doing this to get acknowledged? Well, I think it's important for them to get acknowledged because um, the other people who are not in this position to see what they're doing, to understand mm -hmm. that they can do it too. Whether it be someone who wants to start a podcast, a radio show, have their own entertainment company like you, if we're not acknowledged, put on a platform for other people to see, we can inspire others to do it. Yeah. So as much as it's about self-recognition and you know, ego feeling, it's about what you do for others. Mm. I think that's most important. Absolutely. What do you, what do you think, Fontrell? Me? I think it's important just basically what you just said. Like, um, when you put when you're doing something and you want to show people something different and like you don't have to go to school to do this or you don't have to have a nine to five like you're doing what you love and it's good to see people especially if our ethnic ethnicity. I know what I'm about to say. Ethnicity. <laughs> doing things that we do, so uh, I think it's I think it's dope. I think it's inspiring and like somebody could be at home watching this now, like oh yeah, I want to do what they're doing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So. so what are some of the topics and things that y'all talk about on the show? Everything. Yeah, everything. Everything. What's your favorite topic? Uh, probably new music. Music for sure. Mm -hmm. We talk about music all the time. So before, before y'all, uh, before we went on and went live and all this, um, they were talking about Chance the Rapper. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's yeah. get into that. What are your thoughts on his new album? They don't like it. It's all right. It's, okay. it's okay. It's not okay. It's not a bad album, I guess. It sounds cool. It's fun to dance to. And I know that's what he was trying to go for with this one. So I guess he did what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Just for me personally, like, coming, coming from what, you know, his mixtapes were like and the like, content there and just how and how experimental it was and influential it was to just, you know, the underground scene, I guess. I was just, I'm just kind of expecting a little bit more from him. Okay. You know, when it comes to his album, because I feel like an album should should outshine mixtapes. But that's not always the case. So when I, when I was listening to it, I love love. And I, like, I was inspired, I aspired to be married with children one day. I don't know to who, but September 3rd, you're coming to you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's my whole thing. And then on top of that, when I'm listening to music, I'm listening to stuff that's going to make me feel good. I'm mm -hmm. listening to stuff that's going to give me a feeling, a vibe. Like, mm -hmm. I like to dance, I like to sing and stuff like that. So his album was right up my alley. It was good in my opinion. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have any complaints about this album. I'm waiting for you. Right. I'm going to save you for last. <laughs> it's okay to me. It doesn't sound terrible. <clears throat> the message behind it is dope. Like, you know, you want to you talk about your family, your kids, you're growing up as a man, your family. I think that's dope. But sonically, to me, how it sounds, it's okay. Okay. Yes, I mean, I, right. I haven't followed him since day one like others. I picked up on Chance uh, probably like around Color Book. You don't want a problem with it? Yeah. Chance has been it for yeah, a while. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's been a while. Like, he's we gotta talk about your your because he's been trying to find new music since like because you're a big J Cole fan. That's yeah. what I listen to okay. forever. That's okay. all wow, you listen yeah. to. So now oh, wow. he's trying to catch up. I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm catching up big time. Like a lot of like I just started really messing with Young Thug. Okay. Even though now there's nothing wrong with that though, because I, I just started messing with Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? But I have, but I have, but as someone who is a radio personality, talk about music, I have to know more. And every time, so like, you didn't listen to this yet? No, I haven't heard it yet. What? I get a lot of those. Yeah, bro. Well, a lot of those. Kanye, <laughs> Kanye just came out with uh, Jesus is King. It's not out, it's just not out yet. It's, it's not out. Waiting. It's They've been waiting for it to drop. It's coming. You almost it's made me get up. Whatever, I thought it was out. Okay, no, anyway, no, no, no. whatever. Don't do that. What do you think about the Sunday service, though? I think it's cool. You know, I mean, I, th I think he's bringing more people that probably necessarily wouldn't be into that scene. Yeah. You know, because not every Kanye person is like a big church goer. Right. You know what I'm oh, saying? Thanks. So he's making, so he's making it more available to everybody. My sister know? said it's a cult. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. I don't want to go that kind of far. Way. As say, it, how is it cold? cold? Only because how? when he was going through this whole Yeezy phase, he had a whole Bible. And then on top of that whole Bible, it was like a whole, he's God, and this, this, that, and the next. And people were actually yeah, following him. Yes. He has a Bible. You can buy it right now. What, what's the Bible? Is it it's just the Bible? He it's wrote the Bible. He wrote a Bible. It's literally everything how, how our Bible is is how the Yeezy Bible is, except for he's he, Jesus. He is Jesus. He's Jesus no. in the Bible. We got to Google it. Yes. I just said she got it. I kid so, you not. So in a way, it kind of is a cult type so of thing. So if, if Kanye is what a cult, is Beyonce a cult? Oh, yes. Because the beat no. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. No, because it's like that. It's an organization. Hey, 
Cults. <laughs> 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 they can talk about cults right now. Yeah, she doesn't have a Bible. They, they act like that shit's she like an LLC or some she shit. She doesn't have a Bible. But the type of cult that they're all in is something different. The beehive, no, the beehive is worse. Uh, don't even lie. You know that shit. The book of Jesus. I told you. Look. $88. Yes, and people bought it. That's the crazy part. That does not look like a full version of the Bible. It's 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 the whole first King James version just with Jesus as the as the main character. I don't know. Either way, yeah. I know I'm not a part of that cult. No. I never bought the Bible. <laughs> Either way, um, yeah. I think it's cool what he's doing. I mean, I think it's cool what he's doing too. Because Bible he, for the modern day. He took so anxious and made it a church song. Like so that is that. Yeah. And that was and that's fire. It's a sex song. Yeah, fire. Yes. <laughs> but but I mean, like how I feel about Sunday services that. I watched something. I, uh, a personality said that uh, they feel like he's just trying to pander to black people, get the black audience back. Mm-hmm. I don't feel that like that's real because Kanye was never truly fully canceled. Because if you think about it, when you yeah. truly want to get somebody out of here, you stop fucking with them. Why is that? When he said, "Oh, Sunday service in, uh, in Chicago, everybody yeah, stopped everybody. there doing the go." Everybody, even right. me. So did y'all? And I don't go to church. You went to Sunday service. <laughs> No, uh, I, didn't get I wanted to. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to. That'd be dope. Let's go do some there. interviews. That'd like, I was on it. Right, so was, did y'all really not fuck with him? No, y'all just being most trying to have something to say just to talk. But the culture is just super sensitive right now. I feel like... About everything. Yes, literally about everything. And what's crazy is not even the culture, it's the millennials. We are all in our feelings about this, that, and next. Which is, it's like, it's bittersweet because certain things like we wouldn't stand for that uh, the older generations were standing for is changing now. Mm. But at the same time, at what cost? So it's... It's 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 hot and cold. I feel like it, uh, I well, some cause of it's hard cutting you off. You I feel like some cause of it is almost creativity. You know, like cause Facts. you people, a lot of creatives, whether it's music, you know, comedians, film, comedians, yeah. whatever. Like they, you know, they can say whatever they want, really, of course. But you know, if it's too controversial or if someone gets offended, you can't say that. It's like, well, I can really say whatever cancel. I want to. Yeah. Like, You're choosing to be offended by what I'm saying right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Facts of the matter is when you don't like hamper creativity with like these bogus rules, you end up with like like Dave Chappelle special, which is genius. Mm-hmm. He doesn't let anybody Players. hamper that like creativity or anything. Like he said what he wanted to say. Mm-hmm. Had he been playing by the rules, it wouldn't have been funny at all. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Had anybody done anything about the rules of entertainment or art in general, it's not gonna be good art mm-hmm. majority of the time. Like, you have to just do whatever you want. Obviously don't be a dick. Mm-hmm. But just you, yeah. do, I, do whatever you want. You know what I love about you guys? Mm. That you're black mm. and that Shout you are yes, <laughs> and, that you're, <laughs> and that you have a you have the radio show and radio. When you're when, the whole idea of it is you're talking, you're giving your opinion, and that's what I think everybody needs to see more black men speaking out and talking and expressing their feelings about things. Yes. Which leads me to my next question: Are y'all single? I'm <laughs> not. I am not single. Okay. I'm single. Yes and no. I've been in a great relationship. She's <laughs> in between. For the past 25 years with myself. I'm but, in transition. Yeah. But yeah, for the most part, I'm single. Okay. I'm just like serious. I'm getting answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, All that for yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm saying that that was probably like the worst segue ever, but it's women like to see men that are at, at least I do. Women like to see, see men that are outspoken that can say what's on their minds. Just don't don't be talking over me and stuff though, because then we can, you, know, you know, you know what I mean. But I think when you have a yeah, when you have a radio show, you you have to be able to talk, but you also have to be able to listen. So I think that it goes hand in hand. What you say? Wait, you I, so? I, no, no, no. I agree with you. It's just I'm lear- I'm working on learning how to listen actually. Uh, like, who just yelled? Hear? Who just yelled at you? Which uh, one of your Which one of your girlfriends? Right. Me? You yelled at me because you said something. That, no, we were on the way to the we were on the way to the station actually, and we were running late. And <clears throat> I wasn't even talking though because he was doing what he wanted to. No, do. I heard what some of what you said. I just didn't remember that you said it. <laughs> you probably so, talked. What did he say? Because we were. He, 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 he wasn't even arguing. He wasn't even arguing. He was. Let me tell the story. Go, so go. I, I wanted something. I wanted something to eat, but he had got to me late. So when I said I said it in the car, I'm like, man, I was hoping he was gonna get here earlier because I wanted to go get something to eat. I ain't eat nothing all day, but I'll wait until after we're done. Yeah, so shit. on the way, <laughs> yes I did, yes I did. So on the way, he was like, well, what did you want? I'm like, well, I wanted some KFC. First of all, he debated me about KFC. Ain't no KFC. No, I I yes, you did. did. Yes, you did. Because he was like, ain't no oh, KFC right. over here. Yes, Move yes, 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 yes. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 
So like, so I'm like, yes, well, it is a KFC. So he had me even rethinking, like, maybe I didn't see a KFC. I just probably just wanted it. But no, sure enough, maybe I did. it was there. So then we get there, and now this part was so my funny. fault because I was like, well, let's just go in because usually it's faster right. if you go in. It wasn't. It was one person making everything. Mm. So it took us a long time. Damn. But he said, no, nah, let's do it. We got time. I said, oh, okay. And the one time everybody else wanted to be on time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Our video guy, Kendall, shout out to Kendall Williams, Wendell Williams so, so. on all hey, platforms. Uh, all right. Literally, right? He always shows up it's like uh, like a second before we go on air or like a minute before. He was 15, 20 minutes early today. Whoa. Because <laughs> yeah. he, he brought Trenton with him, our guest. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I uh, mean. Why didn't you want Popeyes? Over KFC. I can understand that. I'm not, I would have got Popeyes. I'm not KFC. a Popeyes fan. Like, I feel like this one over here on whatever street is called. Red right Flora? Yeah. It ruined all Popeyes for me. Like, not, for not even Did you see I, the video? The, with the oh, roaches? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, that one? Yes. Oh, I missed that. I missed it. 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 The customer service is bad. It is. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Before I talked about the roaches. I was, I, somebody sent me, the, it was my grandma, she wanted a two-piece spicy with a biscuit. Do you know, it took me like 40 minutes to get that, and then when I got it, it was cold. They take nah. so long. If you don't long. wait, at least, don't go to that one. If you don't wait, yeah. at least, well, even though, the one on Chicago is a long way, too, it's yeah. pressing. But, like, if, it's fire. This is my thing, though. If you don't wait, at least a sitcom or some commercials for your food, it's not good. Commercial. I got things to no, do. No, I take that it's back. Fast I, I take that so back. Hey, <laughs> you, just want, you just want food that's just been sitting there. Like, no, okay, I go. don't want food that's been sitting there. That KFC was sitting there because I had to wait to eat it. So that was different. Nah, she was sitting there because she had to go grab every single piece. She, mm. Bro, so you, you had to go to the potato wedges. The potato wedges was hot. That bitch was Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll take Popeyes over KFC. But I, I would too, personally. Yeah, but as I was saying, me. Look, when Popeyes get a famous bowl, we'll talk. It don't matter what they got. They don't got a famous bowl. All I wanted was a famous bowl with some mac and cheese in it, and that's what I got. I stopped being KFC for a while. So, I was like, why am I eating I've had KFC in a minute. <laughs> but that's not when they discontinued popcorn but chicken for a while. I was like, why They never KFC? discontinued popcorn chicken. I don't know they got that. Just, I, just, I don't pay attention to KFC like, news because it's that trash. So I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> they famous bowl is good. So. I had a bowl one time when I was a kid, and I threw up, bro. There we go. They cool. famous bowl ain't been around that long. It was, some, it was some type of bowl I had when I was a kid. I threw up bad. They've had a bowl for a minute. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, but like in terms of like me like listening and just becoming, uh, like I said this the other week, I'm just I'm on the radio. I've been on it for a year or something, but I'm just now learning how to talk. Yeah, and I guess with learning how to talk was also comes with learning how to listen. Mm -hmm. So I've had to slow down and become a better listener for certain things. I look at it, this is really like bad, but like I funnel what I put my attention towards if it's like super dire or super not like excuse me. And my mom tells me if I need you to pick me up I'm in an emergency. Obviously I'm not gonna forget that. That's right. not important. But if it's something like hey, could you? Pick uh, if you, you have a soccer that says can you pick that up? I'm like, oh, all right, I might get it, I might not, because it's not finna end the world. Granted, I'm about to get kicked out, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 you all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not. But you know, it's it's stuff like that. But yeah. I, I do forget a lot. Okay. Well, you do know why you have two ears and one mouth, right? To listen more than I speak. Shut up. Okay. Yeah, I got to talk. <laughs> why why that? That? That's some, like, southern stuff. Like, yep. okay. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't come up with that, though. It yeah. had to be a grandma or something. No, my dad actually used to tell me that. Okay. So, it's my dad, true, his though. family is from the south. <laughs> so, I'm just hating because I got nothing to say. It's I'm not. It's not like <laughs> southern. So, you got two ears and one mouth. I'm going to yeah. use that. Yeah. I like that. Yes. Okay. So, I'm a part of a coalition. It's called the hashtag just do it underscore vote coalition. And it is... Is, I'm with uh, Vance Wyatt, Brandon Ewing, Carlos Smith, Andrew Gatson, and Phil Myers, and Vance, I mean, and um, Anton Matthews. So we all came together to get millennials to talk about voting, mm -hmm. to start the conversation, and to actually get them out to vote. Yes. What are your thoughts on millennials voting? Like, are you all registered to vote? Yes. yes. yes You're registered to vote. And do you feel like it's important to, to go out and vote? Group thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's the problem. It just made it easier for me to vote for her because yeah. someone was... Mm -hmm. I get yeah. you. I get you. Go ahead. No, you're fine. Go ahead. Do you vote for your local elections? Mama, I did. Yeah. Okay. That was the last one we just had but for like a... Yeah, Mayor of Zion. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I know we all have to go to different areas depending on where you live. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I voted as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, okay. it's just, like celebrities have more influence now over uh, actual politicians. And that's like a two-way street, like you were saying. It's either you let this person who like you really mess with musically tell you what to do, and you group think, 
or it's like, you know, these politicians, because, I mean, everyone's a liar, but politicians, we go to a different standard because you shouldn't be a liar. Mm -hmm. Like, but they lie. You oh, have a thing in politics. Politi politi that, that, okay, yeah. thank you. That's every what I'm trying to say. Every, every, every politician yes. lies, even Correct. the ones that we think are Thank you. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. And it's just like, they have more responsibility than just us because they in charge of how we live. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, your responsibility, the weight that you hold is, like, way more powerful than what we have, and you lie. It was like, what the fuck? You know? Okay. Yeah. It's disheartening. Now it, is, it makes sense why people listen to celebrities more than listen to politicians, because I don't believe anything a politician says. Right. And, and then another problem. thing, too, like, especially watching the last election, um, Hillary won the, po the popular vote. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the electorals, that's who decided who the president was. So right. it's like, does my vote voice really matter mm -hmm. if someone else just well, that, told this person he was winning? Correct. And then that kind of stuff, like, doesn't make you want to vote anymore. Right. And that, and, like, voter suppression and different things like that. So it's just like, is it really worth it? I think the thing is about us millennials and us younger people is that all the stuff that our older generations, our parents used to do, they used to just do it. Just to like do it because this is what we're supposed to do. But we're actually taking a step back and looking at everything that they did. Like, why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? Yeah. That you know? and our attention span is short. It's <laughs> oh, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. much so. And I feel like it really has to, or I've went out and talked. We've talked to schools and, um, I'm sorry, we talk, we've done, I can't talk. <laughs> We've done talks at schools and other venues and places and just getting catching getting opinions of people and I think the major key, the major thing that millennials were saying was they just don't know who the people are. That's what what does a mayor research. do? What yes. does an what does an alderman do? What wh who are these people and what do they do? So I'm trying to make sure with the coalition and then on my on my platform that we do that. We educate. We gotta educate our millennials and then maybe that will click too, because it's like okay. Well, if I got a pothole, if I ran over a pothole down down the street, maybe I need to call my alderman, yell at him, tell him to. And then, or oh, if you get a pothole, but like you can was, call them. If it was potholes in front of this place and you got one, what are you gonna have to pay for? They it? have to pay for it. I but didn't you know would that. have to know. Yeah, yeah you I know. Have to know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. My granny was on it when I got mine. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So these things affect you. So that's why it's important. So make sure you get out there and go vote. Yes. Get out there to vote. Do your research before you pick politicians. Yes. Right. Don't just pick them because you like the way they look or because well, such and such celebrity says. If Beyonce you know tells me to do it. No. Do it. <laughs> no. Don't do it. Listen, no, because her, her issues are not your issues at all. That's true. You right. Life. That's so true. Do you right. have, really have Beyonce problems? Not no. At all. So you got all these. Not I'm not saying that these celebrities <laughs> don't have the. You know, you know, best intentions and stuff like that. But you gotta understand, like, they're gonna vote for people that are gonna help them out the most, because that's like everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not gonna vote for your your the person down the street. You're gonna vote for yourself and your problems. You know right. what I'm saying? So you gotta do your research yeah. and figure out what candidate's the best one. Yes. You know Critically think. Von wow. for president 2024. I'm voting. <laughs> <laughs> you got my vote. I think there he is. Yeah. Right. 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 Um. So, um, I work, I'm gonna wrap it up. And before we wrap it up, I want to talk to all of you about, so you're entrepreneurs. This is an entrepreneur thing, being, a, being on a radio show, I feel like. Yeah, you're yes. following your dreams with yeah. doing this. Because it goes into so many other things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And why should people follow their dreams? It's important. You know, I mean, you got, if you want to succeed in life, you know, you shouldn't just take what is given to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a goal and you want to achieve it, regardless, it doesn't matter if it's, you want to be a chef. I want to be the best teacher in the world. You want to be, you know, if you want to go to the military and become the top dude, it doesn't matter. Like, you chase that goal, you know, because, you know, you're going to regret it at the end of the day. Right. You, when you're old, in bed, you're like, man, I, sh I should have did that. You know what I'm saying? And regret's the worst pain. Like, I feel like you could feel. You know, that stays with you. Definitely. Stays with you. Where do you see the radio show in five, ten years? Mm. Mm. Uh, well... Okay. That's, that's so, the yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the question for you. I can say, I can love it all. No. <laughs> so, when I brought these guys on, and Kendall included, I, I, I tell her from the jump, if you find a better opportunity that suits you better, schedule-wise, whatever, don't feel bad about, like, just leaving the show. Because at the end of the day, this is a platform. What makes the, the show, having the show is dope. The show itself is great, but what makes the show is us. Mm -hmm. And I think... You know, while that is a great question, I also think that what, what makes the show better is us. So I think it's more so, what do I see our development in five years? Yeah. Where are we going to be? Yes. He's an actor. He does so many different kinds of things. He yeah. wants to be in fashion. I'm everywhere. I want to learn how to DJ. I want to learn how to uh, MC events. I want to learn, you know, become a better public speaker. I'm a mentor. So there's a lot of different things that mm -hmm. I do. This is just an opportunity for us to grow in the platform, like you just said. So I truly can't tell you where I see it going. I definitely see us going up. 
and the reason why I don't say anything in terms of expectations of what I want because you don't know what can happen. Right. And I don't hate to have our minds focused on one set thing, but there's something else that could be happening that could be even greater. Right. Yeah. Don't limit yourself. Correct. All we know is that we're going to be up there. Correct. I, I, yeah. I would love to, because so like right now, um, we work for a not for not ooh, a not for profit station. Mm -hmm. So you know we don't receive any monies, but I would love for us to the show become so good, our brand become so great, we take it in some show at a station or whomever or networks. Like you know what, we want you guys. Ooh, and it. you will. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. People, yeah. people. If you keep going, it's just consistency and getting better yes. and learning and keep. You could just. You just gotta keep going. I gotta tell myself this too. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's levels to it. There was one point in time I was doing interviews in my parents' restaurant, mm. <laughs> and then now I have my own little studio you start space. You gotta start yeah, you gotta yeah, start, and then yes. you gotta keep going. So for everybody out there, make sure you follow your dreams. Don't be afraid to start you just got to do it and you got to keep mm -hmm. going um tell everybody where they can follow you and all that good stuff uh, what are y'all you can follow oh, you going first I'm sure gonna, i'll go first right, go, go, go. so yeah, you, you can want. follow me on instagram snap and twitter at vontrell duh because it's vontrell you can find me everywhere. Um, just type in my name, Pierce Anderson, or you just type in PB00GS. That's my name on like every platform. Apple Music, too, if you want some dope that is so hard uh, playlist. Ooh, follow me on there. That was tough. I'll put you on all types of music. That Trust is me. so fire, bro. Hey, man. I like, man, give it to me. I trust you. Devon of the Street on all platforms. YouTube, most importantly, please subscribe to our channel, ISD and School Detention. We post there every week. Yes. Um, high quality videos, high quality audio, interviews, everything. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for being thank here. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And I'm your host, Yashin Inchworm Phillips. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you follow me everywhere on the thank at the you. Inchworm Show, the Inchworm Show. I love y'all. Make sure y'all stay up, stay positive, stay motivated. Special shout out to my lady behind the camera, Miss Lisha. Okay, yeah, she did a great, great job tonight. Thank y'all for tuning no, in. Really Peace him. out. You, that's just fat jiggling. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys, I'm Devon. I'm Pierce. Devon Trail. We're from ISD in school detention. We just got yes. done doing an interview on the Inchworm Show. Please check her out. Please. Style ain't free. I'm saying it. I can't. I cannot. <laughs>